Hello students, based on your request, we have given up the new videos related to the GATE 2023 statistics with the help of the shortcut tricks. Myself, Dr. Garg, I we will see in this lecture question number 11 to 14 asked in this examination. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Garg, or else simply follow my Telegram channel link. You can scan this code and join with me. What we have discussed in our previous lectures, we have the playlist of the GATE statistics channel name, Dr. Harish Garg where you can see we have discussed all those previous years GATE 2022 and right now we are discussing the GATE 2023 solution. So let's start with this video. So this question is 11th question which is related to the mathematics. Now they are talking about the area of the reasons. We all know what is the area of the curve dx dy or you can write in as dy dx. That's a very simple task. Now you can firstly draw the graph of this. So why is it x square is equal to minus y means y square is equal to minus of x. So this is the graph of y square is equal to minus x and y is equal to so this is a 2 this is the minus of 2 so I can return this is my graph of this curve. Now what is the common area between them this is the shaded portion of this. Now your target is to find the point of the intersection here so I can substitute x is equal to minus y square here and you can see it's a y square plus y minus of 2 0. I can take the factor y plus 2 y minus 1 is equal to 0. So factors are my minus of 2 plus 1. So this is the y is equal to plus 1. This is the y is equal to minus of 2. When y is equal to minus 2 you can substitute here x will be my minus 4. When y is equal to 1 x will be my minus of 1. Fine. Now you can integrate this. If you want to integrate with respect to y firstly, then you can clearly say that you have to break the limits from here, two different part. But if you take the limits on the x-axis, then there is no need of that. So I can take the limit, this value is my y. What is the limit of the axis? y minus 2. Limit of the axis is my minus y square. So this is y minus 2. This is minus y square. Outside limit is the dy. What is the minimum value of the y is? Minus of 2 plus value of y is my plus 1. Now you can simply integrate them. What is the integration of this? That is the x over the limit minus y square to y minus 2. So now you can integrate them. It is a minus y square minus y plus of 2 dy. Now what is the answer of this? It is a minus y cube over 3 minus y square over 2 plus 2y over the limit minus 1 to 2. So I can substitute firstly 1 minus plus 8 over 3 minus y square by 2 that's a 1 over 2 plus sorry minus 4 over 2 plus 1 minus minus plus 2 so it's a minus of 3 it's minus minus plus 3 by 2 3 to a 6 so i can written as 3 over 2 plus 3 that is my 9 over 2 is the right answer of this problem Look at the another one. What is given to you? A has eigenvalues 1, 0, minus 1. Based on this A eigenvalue, you can find the eigens value of the B. You can substitute here as directly. That is a 1 square plus 2 times 1 plus 1. It will be my 4. Once you substitute 0, it's a 0, it's a 0, it's a 1. When you substitute minus 1, it will be 1. It's a minus 2, it's a plus 1, 0. Now these are the eigens value. Now check which one is satisfied here. Look at that 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 satisfied. All satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. Look at the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 4 which is a non-zero. So this option cancel out. 1 plus 5 minus 4 cancel out. 1 minus 5 minus 4 again cancel out. 1 minus 5 plus 4 satisfied. So all other options are cancel out. So the right answer is my A. Again you can check with the 4 as well. So that's a 4 cube minus 5 times 4 square plus 4 times 4 will be a 0 is the right answer. So A will be the right answer. Now look at the another one, question number 13. Again, it's mathematics are there. A is a n cross n matrix. B is my invertible. What is the meaning of the invertible? That is the determinant is my non-zero. Then rank. They are talking about the ranks. Once the determinant is non-zero, what is the rank of the B? is always be the n because it's n cross n matrix. A and B are the two n cross n matrix. So let's say n will be my two cross two. What is the A? Is it given to you that A is invertible? 
no so it means a can be of this a can be of this whose determinant is a zero or no zero so what is the rank of the a it could be of n or less than of the n now you have to talk about the rank so that's a very simple question for you so we all know rank of a plus rank of b minus of n is less than equal to rank of b a what is the n is if i say the rank of a uh, sorry matrix a is n cross m b is say my p cross n then what will be my b a b a is defined only when these two elements are common so this is my here now what is the rank of b rank of b is my n so this will be cancelled out rank of a is less than of rank of b a also we know that rank of b a is always be less than of the minimum of rank a and rank of b fine now we all know rank of a is less than equal to n rank of b is my n what will be the minimum minimum is rank of a so from this and from this we got that both are satisfied as equality so that's the same thing they asking so it means this first option is correct one now look at the second option second part is a is any n cross n matrix a square b has a solution when it will be the solution when the determinant of a square is a non zero when the determinant of a square is a non zero it means determinant of a is also non zero what is the meaning of that ax is equal to b also has a solution so that's the same question they are asking if a square b has a solution then ax b also has a solution is also the correct statement so the both a and b are the both first and second are the correct answers okay now they are talking about the probability space these are my sigma field probability sample space and here two functions are defined is correct only one question is corrected that's a random variable random variable all are talking about the random variable so what is the random variable these are the mapping from the sample space outcomes to the real number that's a simple definition of the sample space or the random variable so we can define the x and y two are there so if i say x of omega like of this omega must belongs to the sample space outcomes so in this case what is the sample space outcome this is my sample space outcome because it is defined only on this are there this is my sample space and this is my probability are there now once you are defining the probability of any events that's the event events from the sample space now that's a very simple now look at that which of the following is not or which of the following is a random variable look at that is this omega belongs to the sample space outcome yes is this open interval 1 comma 2 belongs yes so it means yes this is a random variable so neither is a cancel out x is not a random variable this option is cancel out so b and c option cancel out b look at the third option uh, y option 0 and 1.5 is the 0 1.5 lies in this no this does not belong to the g similarly 1.5 comma 2 does not belong to the g so it is not a random variable so this option is correct option rest options are cancel so that's a very simple question but that's a simple definition of the random variable okay look about the another one phi is my cdf cumulative density function of the normal so we all knows that normal is my continuous random variable so what is the graph of the normal distribution standard normal distribution so what is the mean of the standard normal distribution zero once is a zero so what is the graph of this the area is half on the left hand side area is half on the right hand side x is any another random variable having the cdf is given to be here so firstly you have to check that whether x is my continuous random variable or x is my discrete random variable is it given to you in the statement like psi phi is a normal distribution that we all knows that is a continuous random variable is it given to you x is a continuous or the normal no it is not given to you so you have to think like this way which of the following statement is correct so what is the cdf we all knows you can write the cdf in terms of here 
So if I look at the first option, I can write the left hand side to be f of minus 1. So what is the minus 1? Equality will be here. So I can return this number as phi of minus 1 plus 1, that's a 0. So phi is my standard normal, 0. CDF is always less than, so the area is my half. So this is my correct option. Since only one correct option is there, then this is the right answer. But if you want to look about why the other options are discarded, so remember, if you want to find the probability at point A, it can be written as probability of A, CDF of A, and CDF of A minus. What is the A minus is? If you look about the second option, what is that? I can written as CDF of minus 1 minus CDF of A negative. What is the minus 1 equality here? So it will be my phi of 0. Minus 1 means that is a less than of minus 1. That will be here. So CDF of minus 1. This portion is my half. Minus 1 lies here. So this value is my phi of minus 1. Definitely this number will be less than of the half because the total area up to here is my plus 1 by 2. So definitely this area will never be a half. So that's why this option is cancelled out. Look about the third option. So again, we can write the probability of less than A in terms of, I can return like of this, minus the only difference here is the probability at a single point. That means CDF at A minus probability at a point A. So if you look about here, I can return as f of minus 1 and probability at x is equal to minus 1. So CDF of minus 1 again here, it will be my phi of 0, 1. What is the probability of minus 1? We have computed that it will not be a less than. So once the difference will be here, it can again never be a less than of the half. This option cancel out again. Look at this option. So I can return this number as f of 0 because equality there. 0 is lies here. So it will be my phi of plus 1. So plus 1 is lies here. So definitely this area will be more than of the half. So if, but if they are asking equality, so this option is cancelled out. So the right answer is only by A is the right answer. So this is the way you can discard this option. But since you are in the examination, so only one correct option is there. So we already get the answer as A, a is the right answer. I hope you can simply learn these simple tricks for solving this. We will solve the next question 16 to 20, 16 to 20 in our next lectures. Till then you can simply follow my telegram link. Else follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Garg with, uh, with a playlist gate statistics of the previous year's complete questions are there. I hope you can like, share and comment my these videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.